Hello people, I'm coming to you from my closet. Um, so, I have been dragging my feet to clean out my closet for a couple of months. We moved about, gosh, it's been eight months already. Has it been eight months already? Holy cow. Uh, yeah, so we moved about eight months ago and our closet in our old house was probably like twice the size of this. So we downgraded a lot. By we, I mean like I. My husband's side of the closet is like jam-packed with his clothes. He got rid of a lot of stuff too, but it's still like really packed. I got rid of a lot of stuff, but my side is slowly like, since I've brought my maternity clothes out, I haven't put them away yet. I had my baby. Um, but all my maternity clothes are still out, so I need to like put those away and get rid of the ones that I didn't really like or didn't wear. And I also um, need to get rid of a lot of clothes. I feel like some of them are just old or not, you know, there's something that I don't gravitate towards and I don't really enjoy them. They don't spark joy. Um, I'm not going to do like the Kamari method and dump all my clothes on the floor. I'm just going to go through them in my closet because I'm a mom of three and I don't have time to like dump everything out and then hang it back up and put it up. So a couple things that I'm struggling with uh, with cleaning out my closet is so I'm nursing my baby. So one of the things most of my clothes I can't wear because I can't like just nurse in it like dresses I can't just like nurse in a dress if it like comes up to here you know what I mean and my postpartum body a lot of my clothes don't fit my postpartum body although I plan to get back to my uh, regular like postpartum weight eventually um, so I'm gonna keep those clothes but for now like I go through my closet and I'm like nothing fits me literally I have like nothing to wear uh, but obviously I do because I have clothes on right now I have a very limited wardrobe at this moment in time um, so yeah, I just wanted to like go through my closet and get rid of this stuff that like I don't even like like this is like halfway falling off the hanger and it, Like it doesn't even want to be in my closet. It's not flattering. The color is just it's not a good color for me So um, yeah, this needs to go and plus it's like so short I feel like if I was if I was to like chase kids around in this you can't even see but It's short uh, so I am going to make two piles, one for the garbage and one to donate. So this is going to go in the donate pile. Hi baby boy! My baby boy is down there. I will try not to cover you with clothes. Um, yeah, and like these hangers. I don't even know where this hanger came from. I don't use those hangers, so peace out. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go, oh, this gem over here. This is a keeper. You like this? Yes! Do you like that style dress? Seriously, this cracks me up every time I see it. So it does spark joy, and I'm keeping it. Uh, <laughs> you might not agree with that. I just feel like, I don't know, one day I'm, go I'm gonna wanna make something out of this, or I bought it as a Halloween costume initially. Um, I wanted to make a Mary Poppins purse out of it, but then I found a purse that was like perfect for my little Mary Poppins. Um, yeah, so this is my husband, so I guess I'll keep it on my side of the closet as if he doesn't have enough space over there. And we have a, his office closet. This was from my wedding. This is like a flower girl sash. Why do I have this? I don't know. I don't, okay, I should just get rid of it, right? Peace out. Um, this is also from a wedding that I was in just eight short months ago. Nine, really? It's been like nine or maybe 10 months. No, hasn't been. It's been less than that, so it's been like seven months. We're getting off track here. Um, this dress is kind of short, but I like it. And I feel like if we were to take family photos again, I wore this last time. But again, it's like short and wow, it goes down really low, but I always wear something under it. Um, I don't know. Like, I like this. I'm going to keep it. I like it. I'm going to keep it. Moving along. This is like a random hanger. I use all black hangers. So this dress I like, got it from Target. This shirt can go. I will say, well, what is, I have my veil just like hanging out. I need to put that like with my wedding dress. Okay, so this, I don't really love this. Again, it like washes me out, but like holding it up, I'm like, ah, I can wear that. Yeah, so I'll keep it, I'll keep it around. Got this one from Kohl's. I haven't gone shopping in such a long time. I can't even tell you guys like, other than like buying maternity clothes, I haven't been shopping in a really long time. Okay, so here's where we get into some of the problems. 
Oh, and another thing I wanted to add, I live in Florida, so this is literally my whole wardrobe. I don't have like a winter wardrobe and a spring wardrobe. Like, we have two seasons here in Florida, hot and really freaking hot. So this is mostly like summer stuff. I do have like long sleeves, but really our winter lasts like two weeks long and that's it. So I have scarves here. I wore one of these scarves, I think this white one, once this year, probably once within the past four years, but I keep four scarves. I used to have a trunk full of scarves because I used to live in Italy where I actually did have a winter and I needed a winter wardrobe. This is where I got this coat from. Can you see it? This coat, I got that. And then I also have this coat. So I like to keep these like just in case. This like, I don't even know if this fits me right now because the extra postpartum weight I've got hanging on me. Uh, oh, this is like a running jacket. I really like this. Here's, here's what I need to get rid of. This. Do you see? River Ridge High School. This is from high school, but it has my name on it. So I feel like I can't donate it. No one's going to want it. Who's going to want to wear this? No one. So this is like the only sweater that I keep around for those days where I'm just lounging around the house and I want to wear a sweater. Like that's what I wear. My old high school sweater is what I wear. Uh, okay, that's good. That's like a little overcoat. This is my husband's. He was actually looking for this the other day. He's like, have you seen my black coat? I was like, no, I haven't seen it. Don't tell him. <laughs> uh, what's this? Okay, so this is a really cute dress. I think I wore it for a wedding. I really like it. It's dressy, so obviously I'm not going to like wear it. You know how they say you wear 30% of your wardrobe 70% of the time? Is that the quote? I don't know. But for the other, you know, for that tiny fraction of a percent that you do need to dress up, I like to keep dresses around. This is cute, but I can't nurse in it, right? I don't know. It's not flattering or anything, but I like it. Not everything has to be flattering, right? Sometimes I don't want it to be flattering. This is really cute for like church stuff. Most of these dresses are for church. This I can get rid of. I haven't gotten rid of anything. You guys are like, when are you going to start getting rid of stuff? This I can get rid of. Peace out. Uh, I'll put the hangers over here. This is maternity. I should make a maternity pile too. Because this is so tight. I'm not going to want to wear this on my postpartum body because... Like, it's flattering when you have a bump, but when you have a bump and you're not pregnant, like, you don't want to showcase that. Then this is the kind of dress that would do that, so I'll just get rid of that. Peace out. Or I'll put that on my maternity pile. Let me tell you something, guys. I bought this dress. It's a maxi dress. I have worn it for one Easter. I got it... How long have I been married? Nine years. I got it nine years ago. And I was like, oh, I'll wear this when my husband takes me out on a date. I wore it for Easter. Not that we don't go out on dates, but like to go out on a date and wear something like this, it just hasn't happened yet. I may have worn it a second time like on a beach, but it's just so pretty, I don't wanna get rid of it. I might wear it again this year for Easter because I can nurse in it, I can just pull it down. You know what I mean? So where was I? That's a really cute dress. This, I love this, but I'm gonna get rid of it because I don't think I've ever worn it. Literally, I don't think I've ever worn it. So, bye. Bye, Felicia. I don't even know what that means. What does that even mean, bye, Felicia? Um, this, again, this is like a romper. So, I've worn it around the house a couple of times. It looks like a dress, but it has, like, shorts underneath. I've worn it around the house. And a part of me is like, this is the kind of thing moms wear. You know what I mean? They just, you know, roam around the house. And I do. Part of me likes it, but another part of me is like... You're not there yet. This, oh my gosh, this is one of my all-time favorite. Look out, look at these sweet sleeves. And then it's a dress, so it goes on. I actually, I think it's a large, so it's not meant to be a dress. It's meant to be just a shirt, but I wore it as a dress. It doesn't even have a, oh, it's a small. So it is supposed to be a dress. Anyway, I haven't worn this in years. It is one of my all-time favorites, so it does bring me joy, but um, I think I'm gonna have to say goodbye to it. A goodbye. This probably does not fit me anymore, but I do like it. I don't necessarily like the color of it, but I like it. I'm gonna keep, oh, and it has pulls on it. It has pulls and stuff. I'm gonna get rid of it. Sad to see it go, but 
I want to have a wardrobe that, like, I don't know, it's nice and doesn't have poles and bleach stains and vomit stains. You know what I mean? That's a cute dress. This is cute. Oh, Wentworth, I hear you. This is cute. It's maternity, and I didn't wear it this year for Christmas because I can't nurse in it, but maybe next year I'll wear it. It's, like, sad to think that I'm filling up a space in my closet knowing that I'm not going to wear that for an entire year, but whatever. All right, maxi dress. I like this dress. Moving along, couple hangers. And this dress, too, this is maternity, so I'll put it in, like, the maternity uh, stuff because, again, it's that material that is just, like, so tight that I know I'm never going to wear it if I'm not pregnant. This, surprise, surprise, does not fit me anymore. I kept it around, at, like, out of storage because I was like, oh, if I have a girl, I'm going to put her in this to wear. Uh, I didn't have a girl, so both of my other girls wore this, though, and I took pictures. I wore that when I was a baby, so I like to keep that nice. All right, what else have we got over here? Did I mention that my closet is like the dumping ground for all things that we don't have a place for in the house? So like, eh, eh, all this stuff. I'll go through that. That is, this is mostly garbage and then like stuff I use for an expo. And uh, these are my shorts and skirts. These are my skirts. And these are my shirts. I feel like I should bring you in closer. Can you hear me? What's that? What's that song? Home make closer, Tony Danza. That's not the actual song. That's how I sing it. All right, let's get to business. I literally have never worn that. No. This is so sad because I love this shirt and I've tried so hard multiple times to get these stains out. I don't know what they're from. <laughs> it saddens me to let this go. Isn't this shirt so pretty too? Get out of my life. Guys, my Oma made this shirt. She made, with her own two hands, made this. I wish I was that talented. I'm not. I strive to be one day as cool as my Oma, which means grandmother in German. This shirt, guys, it's not even white anymore. It's like the color of my teeth. It's probably more yellow than my teeth. <laughs> Nothing can get much more yellow than my teeth though, but sad to see this go. I guess I need a new white shirt. Get out of my life. I love this shirt, but every time I wear it, it makes me look like I've gained 20 pounds. Just the way the shirt is, so it's so pretty. A box of crayons just fell on me. I keep this box of crayons. I got them at a really good price. My kids go through crayons, they break them, and they and I throw them away and whatever. So, lifetime supply. I feel like I'm halfway done. Wentworth is getting a little fussy. Um, I also have gym clothes, pajamas, and then like tank tops in a drawer. They all fit in like one drawer over in my bureau. So those are things that like I'm gonna keep. I know my gym clothes don't fit me right now, but hopefully in a few months they will. Um, I'm gonna go through the bottom rack after I maybe put him in a wrap or something. All right, I'm back. Uh, where was I? Over here. I have this nursing thing. I just don't wear this anymore. Ah. But I feel like maybe I will. Peace out. Oh, I love this. This like swamps me when I'm not pregnant or postpartum. But I put it on yesterday, just not yesterday, the other day to wear around the house. When it, and uh, it was so tight. I was like, oh my god. This. Oh, what is this? Oh, I like this. Where'd this come from? <laughs> this doesn't fit me anymore. All right, these are all my skirts that I love. Have you guys ever seen hangers like this? They're awesome. Big space saver. I love this sweater, but I haven't worn it since I bought it. It's so cute. I bought it from a thrift store. Isn't it cute? I kind of want to save it for like next winter. 
I'm going to save it. This is another sweater. It's hard for me to get rid of sweaters because I, I wear them so rarely. Say that five times fast. But I really like this. So I don't know. I don't have that many. And I feel like I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it, guys. My grandmother made this, too. Isn't she amazing? So talented. Not like this would fit me right now. I mean, it might, but it would squeeze some things in there. When I first met my husband, I was like, I really want a wolf t-shirt to work out in. And then, like, four years later, he bought me one. <laughs> and I haven't worn it. I've never worn it. But I feel like I need to keep it because it's a gift, you know? And it just makes me laugh. Like, look how funny that is. <laughs> look how funny that is. Um, okay, I bought this. I love this. I wore it to death. And some of the beads are missing. And a part of me is like, oh, I'll fix it. Like, how am I going to fix this? No, I'm not going to fix it. Or maybe I'll, like, cut off the sleeve and sew it. I just, the print is so pretty. I want to keep it around. Oh, even looking at it now, I'm like, man, I love this. But I haven't worn it since it broke. So it saddens me. I want to, like, make something with the, with the uh, fabric because it's just so pretty. I love flowers, but... I'm keeping the wolf t-shirt and throwing away something that I really like. Capsule wardrobe, what? I bought this when my cousin and I went to downtown Disney. And I literally have not worn it since. It's been, I don't know, five years. It's just been keeping space in my closet. And I think it will bring someone else more joy than it does to me. These are all my shorts. Slash capris. Slash most of them probably don't even fit me. So we're going to go through those real quick. Love these. I have worn them so much. They're like faded. Oh, and I want to keep them around, but they have a bleach stain on them. It makes me so sad because I love those. And they fit good. Running shorts. These don't even fit me. Like, you know it's sad and you've gained a lot of weight when your athletic wear doesn't even fit you. Oh, another white shirt that has gone yellow. All right, all right, all right, all right. I love these shorts and in the summertime I especially love them but I just I don't think they're size six I don't think I'm going to get down to this I don't know I know, I'll keep them around just because I don't have any other shorts so in like a year or two when I am down to this size again I'll have something to wear I bought these from a website and they never fit me when they came in Before leggings were cool, I had these. I still love them, but I haven't worn them because I forgot they were back in my closet. Oh my god. These are maternity pants, and I literally, literally tried them on, and I was like, nope. Don't like them? Now I feel like you're just watching me clean my closet. This. Haven't used. This was like a big purchase for me. 10 years ago when I bought it, I was like, $20 on a wristlet, ugh. Might have even been 30, I don't remember. Um, I don't use it, so peace out. All right, coming up here, the basket up there. Can you guys even see it? I have a basket here. Its intended purpose is for my bathing suits. When I got pregnant, it was where I would try on clothes, and when I realized they didn't fit anymore, I would throw them up there, just to like get them out of sight and not think that they fit me or anything. So, uh, yeah, I'll be going through that. So I think hopefully most of that is maternity clothes. Hopefully, we'll see. <laughs> me and my husband looked everywhere for this. When I was going to the hospital, when I was in labor, my husband was like, where's my it's a boy shirt? I was like, I don't know. We literally looked everywhere, spent probably 15, 20 minutes looking for this shirt. <laughs> Found it! <laughs> oh, that's funny. I bought this hat to wear on the beach so I could still put my hair up in a bun and get the sun out of my face. But the sad thing about this hat is it doesn't keep the sun out of your face. So like now I just like like an old lady who's ready to play bingo or something. It was a bummer.
All right. Whoa, too close for comfort. All right. My closet is like 95% clean. Jordan. Um, I just have to do this top thing, and I don't think I can do it by myself. We shall try. P.S. Hated this. What? Waste of money. Now I know. I'll be donating it, but now I know. Never again. I'm going to finish the top, and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so this is what I'm getting rid of. It's a pretty hefty pile there. This. It are my maternity clothes and this is my clean closet so I cleaned up all up here I need to like straighten those boxes but I can't reach them this looks a bit lighter this is not much lighter it's pretty much the same I didn't I don't think I got rid of anything this looks the same those are my pants that actually fit me <laughs> and my dresses a little lighter not really not too much um, down here I have Christmas wrapping paper and then my suitcase I should have done like a before and after so you could really get a good idea but I'll just scan over the after and then maybe I'll use my husband's side for the before look how cluttered that is like why do we have boxing gloves I I don't know do you guys know your guess is as good as mine <laughs> All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this, I don't know, motivates you to clean your closet <laughs> or maybe purge a few items. Uh, yeah, happy spring cleaning, even though it's not spring yet. Is it technically spring? I don't know. I live in Florida, so it's like summer already, basically. So uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Do you love your mama? Do you love your dada? <laughs> Do you love Eleanor? <laughs> Do you love Abelina?